Hi, I'm Orlando McRae. I'm the bar director at Night Moves, uh, still, I think. I don't know, who knows. Um, but we want to put some videos together uh, for the website to show some people some easy things that they can do at home. Um, so I'm gonna show we all how to make a one bottle martini. The one bottle martini is actually gonna require four bottles, which is misleading, but it is what it is. Um, so I'm gonna use a liter uh, bottle. Uh, that's the easiest for this method, just because all the numbers make sense the most. Um, it doesn't need to be this kind, but a liter is the easiest to work with. So we have that, and that's what the martini is gonna live in eventually. We have a uh, dry gin, I'm using Old Raj. Uh, you got your dry vermouth, I'm using La Cantina. And orange bitters. And then the fourth ingredient is gonna be water, but you know, it'll make sense when we do the myth. So this recipe is gonna be for a five to one martini, uh, which is very, very dry, but that's what I prefer. And then if you like something like a little more vermouth forward, you can just adjust. And like I said, it's in, it's in milliliters, so it's really easy to measure because it's just, you know, one one tenth or two tenths, whatever. Um, yeah, so we'll start. Uh, so like I said, it's super simple uh, because everything is just going to go into the uh, big bottle, uh, which we're then going to stick into the freezer. Uh, so we're going to start by pouring into the bottle. Oh yeah. And it's the entire bottle of gin. So if you're using, as long as you're not, the, your bottle's a standard size, which is 750 milliliters, uh, you can just pour the entire bottle in. Okie dokie, so that's 750 milliliters out of a thousand, right? Because we're going to make a whole liter of martinis, which ends up being a, a liter is like 33 and change ounces. So if you're talking about a three ounce martini, you're 11 servings. Yeah, uh, so that's 750 there. I measured out 100 milliliters of water here. Uh, that's for our dilution. And it's going to help out with um, for like the mouthfeel after we get it out of the freezer because that's going to freeze. So I'm just pouring some vermouth. I'm measuring that out, so it's five to one. So what, 750 divided by five is 150 milliliters. So that's 150 milliliters of extra dry vermouth. And then the last thing we're gonna add are the orange bitters, which I do like three dashes per serving. So you're talking about 11 servings, that's 33 dashes, so. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, nine, two, three, ten, two, three, eleven, two, three, done. Thank you. Uh, so, my assistant, she's lovely. Um, so we have this, and we're just going to pop into the freezer. Just give it a little shake. Done. So in maybe like an hour, we can pull this and it'll be ready to serve. Can you believe it's been an hour? Neither can I. Uh, so we have our martini that's uh, chilled here and pre-diluted. And you know, since it is done in the bottle, it doesn't matter what the size of your glass is. If you want a little martini, if you want a big martini, I don't know what kind of morning you're having. And we'll just give it a lemon zest. Always. And you could have like a, to garnish, you know, I like like a green olive or even like a caper berry is nice. Yeah, enjoy. Hey all, I forgot to mention that this cocktail uh, is available bottled on our website, nextdoorspacebk.com, uh, which is maybe where you're watching this video anyway, but just in case if you don't feel like making it at home. Um, also available is uh, Four Horsemen's uh, wine, uh, some food, coffee, merch. Yeah, uh, but check it out if you aren't there already. Thank you. Bye.